as you can see already, bricks are bloody perfect, spotless. How was the um, water? The best, it's like meringue. That bloody sabre saw just goes straight through it. Which means, no dust for the neighbours. No dust for the neighbours and these should just come out with these tomorrow. So this will stop the lintel sitting flat, so cut that off and repaint it then. Another absolutely glorious morning, Friday, day two on this job. I like spotting the new uh, work t-shirt, just giving the van a bit of a clean out. Where's the little brush? Um, the, the hand brush, the yeah. soft one. Mm -hmm. um, pass. It's not where I thought it'd be. It wasn't a blue plate. Now I had to redo that since it didn't work. So there's our blue Bosch grinder, which is brilliant. So we've bought this the blue Bosch sabre saw which came with two, two free blades and we've got a couple of these carbide blades for this mortar which it absolutely sails through because it's very soft there it is perfect tool for the job 107 pound plus fat from berries couldn't help myself but very good buy that so I'm gonna hop up there now and start taking some more out and get these props in you see up there. Right, here we go. Here's our seal, which is in a good mess at the front, surprisingly. It's the standard angle iron, but it's a big span that. Cavity tray is in excellent condition, so we might not reuse it, but we might just cut it off and tuck ours underneath it. There we go. Um, loading insulation, but the weird mangy stuff. Um, this is ropey, a bit ropey. This is the bad end. You can see it there. And then the wind has been put in with this trim. You can see the rust coming down the trim. This is a new window. Yeah, so I'll get these bricks out now. Get it all fixed. Uh, I think maybe one more, one or two more and we'll get the props in. Fantastic. Right, um, can you find me the plug and chisel, mate, please? Gotta be even with the loose, we've got to be so careful with them. Can't be hitting them with hammers because we just can't afford to break any. Persuade them out. We don't bully them out. Thank you. Alex takes it away and gives it a clean. As you can see, standard gobbed up cavity tray. 
need to get this insulation pack back up which we can use in our own insulation to push this in the cavity Well, try and get that silicon off if you can pal Great Two Oh yeah, we've cranked up the wind as well Right. Let's see the tray. Right, not the tray. That's the little underneath the tray. Right, Al. Yeah. Let's get the first acro in. Here's the brush we were looking for. Yeah, right. I'm back from a quick dash to berries because. Quick? Well, as quick as I could be. Show us what's happened. Second to last brick has broken. I'll tell you what, it's gone back well, that you know. Hmm? So, what I've done is I've nipped the berries, picked that other brick up on. I've got the absolute nearest brick that we have, which is this one, which obviously isn't. That's good. So we've got that option. See on the camera that doesn't look too bad. But these are a bit buttery, not more buttery. And the other option is I've bought a tube of epoxy. Which Alex has got there. Which is instant repair which goes off in five minutes. So we're going to glue it back together. Cop it all up. See how it goes. See how it looks. And we think we're going to... I think the customer's happy with going with this one because the actual bond is stronger than the bricks. So we'll give that a go and we'll, uh, we'll let you know later on which one which one he's gone with. So I've just got one more brick to take out there and then we can start putting back in again. It says rotate it 90 degrees. Oh there you go. We're in. Should we put a mask on something there? Okay, yeah, some gloves. A deranged doctor. <laughs> yeah, so you got the two, the two ingredients, and you mix in the, in the. Uh, Just about to see, it's like looks, like looks like the inside of a silo mixer. Yeah. So plenty of clay here to bond. So this should this should work okay. So we'll do the face first. No, we'll, we'll, we'll practice on the back. 
Here it comes. Can you see it? That's cool. It stinks. It's horrible, isn't it? It smells very synthetic. This is the same as that other stuff, only that um, it comes in two tubes. Yeah. You've got a, an adhesive and a hardener. We're just gluing one there. Uh, one, one side, half. yeah. Yeah. Careful not to uh, splash the face on this bit. No. Of all the years working with you, I've never uh, glued a brick back together. In all the years, 35 years I've been working, I've never glued a brick back together. <laughs> I've probably threw a bit of silicon on it, but never done it properly like this. This stuff will dry tougher than the brick. Yeah. And it's, it's having checked it, it, it does... It looks really tidy. You can't, like the customer said, you can't even spot it. And you get a spare tube. Does that go back on? Um, maybe. Should I pop this on now? Yeah, nice and gently. I'll let you do it. Satisfying. It's like one of them videos, isn't it? Yeah. Should we get some Hessian to wipe off the air? Yeah. Hessian's over there, so I'll get you that in a second. You know, another thing some people do when you're repairing a crack is get a bit of brick dust, the same colour as the brick, and put it in the crack. Mm. So once that's wiped away, it should be able to be hard to notice. It shows it up now, doesn't it? What do you mean? It shows the bloody crack up now. How to fix a broken brick? Yeah. Where's the end? Where are you, where are you trying? Keep rolling. Yeah, I hope it tries better than that. Do you, you, know, you, you want to get some Hessian and I like, try and wipe some away instead of scraping it? Can do, yeah. Looks a bit better. Yeah. Well, time will tell. We'll let Craig just grab this side when it's ready. Now, we need to get cleared up, get a mix on now. Rolling. Filming? Yep. Right, let's get this out then. We'll drop it straight down onto the plank and we'll just slide it out. Okay, um... Roll it forward first. Watch your fingers. Yep. Okay, I've got mine. Get it in there. Well, oh, it's not too bad at all. No. So just before we take it down, I was expecting it to be as heavy as the steels because I'm not, yeah. not really used to it, but as you can see, quite a bit of significant rust damage. So there's quite a few bumpy bits as well, so it's definitely starting to lift the brickwork, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, that's why we're here. Now to get the bloody monstrosity in. Yeah. 
I'll feed it. Am I feeding it to you? Yes. Is it, are we cutting it in half and putting it in the skip? Um, can do. You got it? Yeah. And that's weird that, that's, that was underneath the tray. And it's uh, so that's the telltale spot where it starts going and starts lifting the brickwork up. This is the good end. But that's, if you look at that upstand, what they've put in for that, 10 foot opening, and what a structural engineer's worked out for the same opening. Must be a good 8 inch upstand that. Bit of a difference, isn't it? Yeah. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. No. Still heavy. Yeah. Ready? Before we lift it, if you just push it to me a bit as I lift it. Right, try and lift it, don't try not to slide it because it's hit the galvanise off it. One second, just moving it down. Okay. There she blows. Yeah, it's nice and clean that end. There's a the difference. We're replacing that. Sorry, replacing that. With that. Bit of a difference. I think it's the same thick steel, maybe slightly thicker. It's the upstand that gives it the strength. And then this end we've got this to take off. We've got a little bit of galvanised paint to paint that with. Let's get that done now. Yeah, I've got fresh bloody play again, so we've cleaned that. Nice and flat now. I'm just about to put a bit of paint on that. I'm also putting this down so we can get it in the skip. Uh, at 10 pence a kilo, it's not worth keeping that to weigh it in. So I'll get on with that now. Here we go, fast drying, rust protection. Use on light rust or clean metal. You don't get much cleaner than that. So I'm not going to ruin a bloody paintbrush for that, so I'm just going to use a bit of tissue and dip it on. Get some of the lid. Ow. I, I, I paint. I painted some of the brick tongs with this stuff. I've got a point in Charlie if you need it. All right. Should be some on the lid. Smart, isn't it? Yeah. Like I say, I'm not ruining a paintbrush just for this. So, do it like that. It smells good. Put plenty on. Oh, it does smell good. So there you go. Another tip I picked up when I got bollocked in the uh, comments again. Last time I cut one of these, somebody said when you cut a, when, an angle iron that you buy in the shops cut end going to be exposed to rust so this one isn't and, I, and from now on if I do cut any I'll be using that stuff again there's plenty in there it's good stuff that shower proof in 15 minutes hard dry in 2 hours cool excellent
Coach, show what you're doing. Um, I'm trying to extend the cavity tray a touch. So that we can get, if I extend that over there, we're going to tuck our new one underneath that. And that gives us a chance to get our up stand at this end. Right, I've got the cut nails please mate. One at a time please. Okay. Let me just uh, position this camera then. Don't worry about filming this bit. I'll just film it when it's done. It's too fiddly. Wrong way. This is the painted side though. That's alright. It's already filming. Bit of a preview there. Bit behind the scenes action. One, two, three. I think my arm's in the way. Oh yeah it is. Stand by. What am I saying was hand fire? <laughs> Oh, you get your arm out of the way now. Oh, that's knocked the plank off. Off of where? Off the trestle. <coughs> oh, just keep going. You need to get onto the other plank. We'll pull the plank back. Alright, it's on the other one now. Okay, now you get the plank and pull it back. I've got it. <coughs> oh, that's not going to go, is it? It's safe enough for now as long as we're not up there. Yeah. Put it, push. Put it, yeah, put it on the sides like that and push it. Come on. Keep going. I'll get up there and pull. Okay. Don't stand near this end. Don't come past that second trestle. Okay. Right, tilt it. Yeah, go on. Phase one done. Huh. So it's 150 seating. Yeah, we've got plenty of room to get past there, haven't we? Yeah. Do you want to lift your end up first? I can get my finger under. I can't bend down that far. Ready? Yeah. Hang on. One, two, three. I'll wait for you to get your end swung up. I'm on. Okay. Me too. Oh my god. I just pinched my chest. Right. I need about two inch this way. To you? Yeah. What have you got there? Have you, have you got a brick? Uh, I've got like a full brick. That much left of a brick. Right, so it's not much then. It's, it's probably only just 150. I've probably got about 110 here. Do you want to pass me the uh, hammer? I'll try and tap it. You're probably better with that and try and lead, push it with the lever off the brick. Can't do it again. <coughs> like uh, while you're sleeping, push. I'm pushing. I did. Oh, too much now. Nearly broke the camera. Well, the mount. Pass that chisel back out. 
While I'm doing this, hop down and get a tape measure. Try that. 150 bang on for me. Okay. Hmm. 150 bang on for me, but it's not sitting very well. Brick. Brick's actually over. Right, we're in, but we're having a wobble. So we need to get that. So it stays sat like that. So, needs wedging somehow. It's still going to be better jet light, but we'll get over it. And this, this brick work overhangs the grounds. Like that. We have a bit of overhang. Overhand. Hang so on to that now. The house level. There we go. Half them mixes in, and I've mixed the mix with that orange bucket. So I've done four sand, one cement, and then I've added a bit more to it with the little blue pot that I use me pointing four sand, one cement. Like it's just a bit over half a mix. We've got about 60 odd bricks to do, so that should be enough. And the reason I'm, I've gauged it this time is because, like I said before, all this has been reinpointed up to lintel height. So when I've, I'm going to build this bit in, when I come to repoint round it, I want it all to match. So that's the plan. That's gauged to the same as I do for me repointing four to one. Yeah. So we've, once that's done, we have really tidy this up. Look at the state of that. It's in bad nick and it's been pointed badly, it just looks a mess. So it's going to look miles better when we've repointed it. We've got no patching. Unfortunately we can't replace the chip bricks because the, you just can't get them. Here's our, um, we've gone for the repair. It's just got a bit of a, a shadow on it but you cannot see the crack. And there's the repair. That epoxy stuff's fantastic. Rock hard it is. There's no water getting through that crack. So customs have to, to go with that one instead of the alternative which is up there. So I think it's a good choice. And I don't think that's too bad. 60 odd bricks we get one breakage and it, it didn't even it was completely cut out so just as we popped it it just cracked. So it must have been cracked anyway. Uh, yeah so mix is ready. Alex has tidied up a little bit. We're both gonna get up on here. Uh, the tray's in. The original tray is sticking up in here at the moment, that's going to get pushed down and sealed with silicon. Um, we've got the upstands at each end, and once that insulation is pushed down, uh, once the cavity tray is pushed down, there will also be insulation on top of it, so there's no way that's going to leak. Um, yeah, that's it for now, so... Um, uh, I think we'll put you on time lapse for a bit, and then we'll take you up there and do a bit of normal filming in a bit. So, Bye for now. Course one's in. Got um, we're gonna put brick tore across. Not that it needs it. This this lintel doesn't even need prop and it's solid, absolutely solid. Um yeah, so there's the old tray fixed in there, cut off. Our new tray is tucked over the top, over the top of the lintel, and then that's stuck down with the silicon and the brickwork's going against there, so that's going nowhere. So that's all nicely sealed. We're going to put a little bit of insulation in there. We've put insulation behind 
the uh, angle iron, so there's a bit behind there. And yeah, brick tour, silicon cavity tray, upstand at each end, Bosch. I'm not going to say so far so good because I don't want to. I don't want to risk it, so I never. I never said that then. Plenty on Al. There's plenty of it. You should have put a brick on top of that brick tore out your way. I did, but it was in the way of me gun then. Right. Okay. Right. We'll go back to time lapse for a little bit while we get this in. the awkward top course now yeah we didn't prop this thing because it's that much of a beast there's no budge in it no so we're going to have to get uh, some D to cover that gap up just show the gap on so we'll get uh, some packers in there and then a piece of D to cover that and seal it up the window needs to go clean because we did cover it but it just kept falling off so this top course you see they're all in there ready for pointing so get yourself just enough for a bed And lay your bed just so you've just got enough. Get your brick. Fill your holes up. Easier to do it now than when you're shoving mortar in from the top. Nice tap cross joints on here. And then I never put mortar on the top because all it does is catch on the top, smudge the top of the brick and fall out. And then so slide in from the top. And then just wiggle it. No tapping, just a little wiggle. And that's going to be tight that. But it is what it is. So that's in. And because there's no mortar in there, it's easier to get your mortar pushed to the back so it doesn't, doesn't plug it up. Is it time lapse and a filming? Oh. Pardon? We're time lapse and a filming. Filming. You may die in a bit though, so you've right. got some actual footage here. Not enough though. Yeah. It's in the arm. Lovely. Where's your the silicon? Pardon? Uh, under the seat. Under the seat. Yeah.
faithful. Faithful. Yeah, and Amy, bring camera back as well, please. We get it as close to flat as you can to the joint. Then half the battle's won because you can push it right in. So that that feels right to the back now. Push that off and then push it. Push it so it goes tight. Ram it tight. Just keep pushing it against what you've already put in. And we're done. Uh, 20 to 5, which is a uh, considering we had the bricks out for about 11 o'clock. Anyway, there's yesterday's. Alex's little bit, 7 Newton block, ready for render. Same again there, ready for render. That's next week when Malcolm comes and puts me a tower up 
new lintel and then we're, we're probably not going to end off if we can reach we're going to try and get that done uh, Craig's going to try and get that rendered while the scaffold's up and here's today's project massive lintel and that went like a dream which is a long long time since I've been able to say that everything worked the only snag was we broke one brick and that's been epoxy bonded back instead of using a different brick and um, just go along and if, feel free to try and spot it if you can ignore the wonky bond that's that's what we were we just had follow-ups there there we go so i'm back monday no not that's bank holiday i'm back tuesday on my own start grinding all this out to repoint up to the little not the pike so yeah an easy one at last well not easy but straightforward issue free which is great the breath of fresh air for us there's the old lintel chop that up to get it in the skip proper scabby so yeah um, don't forget give us a like drop us a comment and if you haven't already subscribe and then um, what's the other one? Oh yeah click the bell icon and click all and then you'll be notified every time we upload a video so um, yeah it's Friday so um, half past eight tonight our premiere will be on so see you then like in the past <laughs> Anyway, that's enough. Done. See you in the next one. Perfect for the tool for the... Oh my god! I just pinched my chest. Oh, bloody hell. Right on my belly button. Oh. Yeah, I'm it.